Hello everybody, so I just wanted to make a quick video, um, this won't be too long, I just wanted to showcase how to make an encrypted file to send basically to anybody you like, and how to decrypt a file also as well. So for starters, we're going to go ahead and make the file. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to CD into my downloads folder just because it'll be easier to work inside of there. Um, you see I have nothing in my downloads. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a file to encrypt. So I'm going to go ahead and do a touch. Uh, we can go ahead and just do a TXT file or a text file. Um, we'll go ahead and do, we'll go ahead and do test. Test is fine. We'll just go ahead and do touch, test, TXT. Go ahead and do another ls and you can see here that the text file is there. Um, if we do cat into the test file right here, you can not see there are no contents of it though. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do sudo nano and we're going to go ahead and do test.txt and we're just going to make just a super secret message. So well, let's just go ahead and say this is my secret message okay we're gonna go ahead and save this out and then once you saved it we're gonna go ahead and cat it as well just to show you so you can see this is my secret message that's the contents of the file so now we're gonna go ahead and encrypt it so to encrypt it, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and do gpg-c and then we're going to go ahead and do test.txt, press enter, and you're going to be prompted to enter a passcode. So we're just going to go ahead and enter a super secret passcode here, um, looks like my caps lock is on. Okay. Um, duh, duh, duh. Okay, so um, it's just saying that we've entered an insecure passphrase because I only did four numbers. Um, you can take it or you can do eight like it recommends. Um, we'll just go ahead and take this one anyway just for now because this is just a demo. So we're going to go ahead and do an ls. And now you can see that there is test.txt and test.txt.gpg. Okay, so now with if you go ahead and you cat into test which this is the original file where you can see the message but if you cat into the gpg version you can see it is encrypted nice so once you cat it you can't really see the contents of what's inside of it so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead list one more time we're going to go ahead and remove the original file so just like that now keep in mind um by just doing an rm-r yes it does remove the file but it's not gonna like remove it deep from inside your system uh, there is ways that hackers can dig really deep into your system and still achieve that file uh, i'm not gonna really go over that today this is just a really quick quick demo on how to encrypt and decrypt using gpg so okay so now we're just gonna do an ls again now you can see the gpg file so now this file, you can go ahead and send this to pretty much anybody you want. Um, this is the encrypted version of that file, as long as you don't send them the original. So now I'm going to go into showing you how to decrypt the file. Okay, so now I've restarted my computer. What I'm going to go ahead and do is demonstrate what it would be like if I were receiving the file from somebody. So I'm going to go back into my downloads. And you can see here the test txt gpg file. Uh, what we're going to do, so if you receive the file from somebody, you're just going to do gpg and then the name of the file and then press enter. So now what it's going to do is it's going to prompt you to enter that password that the person created. So I'm going to enter the password, press enter. And then now if I do an LS again, 
now you can see there's two files there's the gpg version and there's the regular txt file so now if i do a cat of the gpg you can still see it's encrypted but if i do a cat of the txt file that it created now i can see the contents of the file so that's a quick way on how to encrypt and decrypt a file and send a file to somebody basically using gpg so i want to thank everybody for watching remember to like comment subscribe and have a great day